Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Maya Divination. What we will do here is today, we'll do the unboxing. The unboxing of Deviant Moon Tarot by Patrick Valenza, published by the US Games. So, I ordered this um, online from um, Amazon, okay? And you might ask why I did order it, because I already have the borderless edition. This one has the border. What I'm hoping for, this version um, cardstock is slightly better than what I have here. So we just get this opened now and I will see if that, okay, that's the sleeve here. That's the yolk. Um, there is some sort of the spread. I have seen that before in the previous, um, Okay, so it looks like that. Okay. So this one is added here. That's fine. Okay. Okay, let me see. And the box in the box, isn't it? Indeed. Okay. Okay, so the size wise, the this they would be a little bit smaller here. Okay, let me have a look. Wait. <laughs> okay, let oh no, I got this opened here. Okay, we have a more of um is that any different actually? They're already kind of very similar here. Okay, so the front and the back, they would be absolutely different here for sure. Here is the difference like that. Dave and Montero. Yeah. And this one doesn't have the, um, the barcodes because it's on this box here. So not inside, it's an outside one. Okay. Um, have a look very quickly here on this okay and the reason why i'm doing this unboxing here as well some other people who are thinking about those two versions they can do they can decide it because i didn't see it on the youtube myself and um, it was hard to get the info so Let's have a look on the the booklets. Obviously, there is um, there is a the coffee table style book for this deck, but and I have it. It's just for the this video purpose here. Just want to see if they are exactly the same. If someone doesn't get that, okay. So, David Moon, copyright two thousand thirteen two thousand thirteen. Okay. Okay, so we have it here. Okay, so the magician skills. Yeah, so it looks like it's a okay. High priestess, high priest. Okay, must be. So it's just so you can see. So it's the the upright meaning, reversed meaning, and essentially like a copy paste for both of them, from what I can see here. Okay, so they would be exactly the same in that sense. Okay, now let me have a look. So we have those two cards and they would come normally as well. Okay, we have them all in order. Okay. Okay, so we compare those two decks now here. Just the, it, this one is definitely not in um, in order because I have you been using this. So that's the difference when it comes to the backs. Okay. 
So obviously we have a white border here, we have a black border here. And they seem, there is a slight little different, this one is a little bit wider. So I tell you exactly size wise. So this one is six and a half centimeter. And this one is, the card itself is seven. Seven by more than 12 because it's 12, see, 12 more uh, and 12 uh, centimeters and maybe seven millimeters there. And this one is 13 centimeters, but here is a little bit. So, as you see here, the size wise, they are essentially exactly the same. It's just this one is wider, the, the one with the borders. Okay, so I think the biggest check here, which was most imp mostly important for me here, is which one is thicker? Oh God, don't tell me. I cannot believe it, guys. Even though this feels somehow like it. Wow, that's just bad. <laughs> I was hoping this one is thicker. And it's absolutely not thicker anyhow, in any shape or form, because it appears as... Wow. <sighs> Gee. Yeah, look, this one, that's how they are. And I took the extra cards out. There was, there was two extra cards here and there is two extra cards here. Wow. Mm. To be honest, I'm kind of regretting I could get both two of them borderless. Wow. Look at that. It's just amazing. Okay. So as much one, this one is a little bit more uh, skinny. The picture, obviously, the image is wider and smaller on that. Whoa, so I just give you the example just so you see the same card. Here we go. Do you see that? So, I'm not impressed. I'm absolutely not impressed, guys. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Just one more time and just have a look at this. Which one do you prefer? Borderless? No. Hmm. Just so. Queen of Wands. So I just show you the Queen of Wands here, okay? Mm, that's Pentacles here. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, or should be here. Somewhere. Depends which one, okay, those will be the very front here. Oh, here we are. She's here. Okay. You see the difference now? Mm -hmm. Which one you prefer or which one you have? If you, if you, so just to settle the argument, um, today dates is the, we have 18th of October, um, 2023. Both decks were bought the same year. This one I got uh, in May, 2023. 
So they are both uh, both purchased from Amazon within the same year. So um, that's what you can expect here in this situation. Okay, if you're thinking about purchasing, I hope that helps you, you know, choose if you like borderless or if you like them with the borders, nevertheless, they are absolutely the same. They're ex exactly the same and the quality actually, this one would be thicker, even though when you're using this one doesn't seem like it. So, but when I'm holding this one, it seems thicker, but it's not. I don't know, it's just because it's wider here. But the best part is this one is cheaper than this. And just because you got this, this and that. That's the only reason why this one is more expensive. Where those things you prob probably won't really use as, mu as much. Sorry, I, maybe I sound unhappy. So, okay. Um, so what I'll do is I cleanse the deck and if the... Since I have them in order, I show them to you how they, you know, how they look one after another. Okay, I'm back again. And uh, what I have here is absolutely natural light here. Okay, I, I have put them in order. Okay, just to be nice, I was a little bit salty a few minutes ago. <laughs> Anyway, so I hope you can see um, the difference here in the cards. Another thing which I would like to definitely show someone who doesn't know yet and maybe using this deck for the first time. You see, the, beside the white borders, you have inside borders, right? So essentially, if you want to, you could still cut it if you don't want this borders here, but you like the way it's the, um, the title here. Anyway, I'm not going to do it. Nevertheless, as you see, they have the frames are a little bit different colors. Like you have a green, purple, black, purple, blue, green, red, blue, red or brown, blue, black, red and so on and so forth. So you see the colors when it comes to the major arcana are all different. Okay, but when we go to the ones, you see they are all the same. They are all greenish here. See, they are all green, 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 green. Yeah. Here we have, when it comes to cups, we have it all kind of dark blue. And then when we go to the, the swords here, we have very brownish or red. It depends on the perspective, I guess. And when we go to the pentacles here, they appear to be black. Don't ask me uh, about the choice of the scholars. Um, I don't know if that was intentional or not. Anyway, you have it. You know it now. Okay, so we'll just, I'll do very quick flip through so you could kind of have a look um, one next to another, um, how they look like. After that, I will do kind of um, how you can see them on the table, right? So I'll put the timestamps anyway, so you can always, you know, go to the next part if this one will be boring for you, okay? I think that what is really good about this deck, we don't need to worry about the diversity. <laughs> In general, it's a David Montero. There is no diversity. It's the whole deck is diverse <laughs> let's put it that way it's definitely not uh we wouldn't have to deal with um uh, any complaints in that relation here okay so i don't know which one you would prefer <sighs> again i think i would go with the 
borderless if I, if you know if I would need to make that choice again. Although this one is nice as well if you just strictly look at that. It's just with those the images are much closer. I don't know. I, I think it's you know personal choice, I guess as well. You know, and in terms of the backs, right? They are different. I'm trying to... They feel the same, I swear. And even if you hold this one in the hand, you know, the whole deck, they would... I don't know. so you have it as nice as view as possible here of cups is amazing you know with the all the colors and you see how this one is zoomed and this kind of zoomed out but it, both are beautiful in my opinion of sorts i as well i change the um how they are all uh, you know um you know the whole setup because they were differently put together when straight away out of the box the way i place my cards is the obviously the major arcana and minor arcana i go from cups to uh, sorry from ones cups swords and then pentacles they were done slightly different um they're put a different way, so I got them sorted out before I before I start the video back again. from this deck well I, I love you know I think each card I think I just can sometimes get confused with the ones when it comes to the ace page I think and two of ones I'm kind of sometimes getting you know the first moment the first glance I'll show you with what I mean so we have a 10 Sorry, what is it here? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Sorry. 
seven, eight, nine, and here we have ten, and we have page, knight, queen, and the king here. I just, I'm wondering, have I switch them to reverse no okay okay and i show you the cards i meant by that um i'm kind of feeling confused here so if you see no not with the ace um well but she can get confused with the empress even though they, it's a completely different card for empress but you know because but that's kind of as a board as the new idea so so you see it's a two of ones here and if you look at the page of ones, he has as well two of ones. So it's, I'm kind of getting confused. This card here at the first glance with this one here. Just so that that's kind of my kind of thing, which, you know, to get to used to when it comes to this deck here. Okay. So I just zoomed this one out now for us. Okay, so in terms of how the cards kind of look like on the table. You know, in color is, you know, it's uh, as well, you know, when you see it as well, it's even, they look even better. So please bear in mind that, okay? And I'll show you the, the borderless, okay? And that's the borderless here for us, okay? So um, again, it's a, obviously a personal taste when it comes to this deck. You know, uh, I do, I mentioned uh, many times on my channel here that I really like this deck. Everyone has the you know different opinions, and you know I, I think it's a that's a good thing because at the end of the day, you know we all like different type of decks, and you know that's the beauty of it. You know if we all like the same decks, that's what we constant we would constantly see here. So here is the David Montaro Borderless. And here is the, uh, obviously there's that bigger package here. That's the one with the borders here. And that's the, this box here. So that would be, that would belong to this side here. <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you so much uh, for watching. And I wish you to have the amazing rest of the day. Take care.